Hello, my dear Frank and friends, and welcome to Spook You, your one-stop shop for all things ghastly and ghoulish. I'm your host, Barnabas Vixen, and my, 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 do we have a tasty assortment of tantalizing tales for you today, handpicked by our very own Weavers of Woe. Guaranteed to send a chill down your spine, or your money back, so is non fun. But enough teasing, because you're here for the stories, aren't you? Well, without further ado, allow me to pass the reins on over to our vivacious voiceover virtuoso, Trey Falco, for the first of tonight's spooky stories. And I'll be seeing you real soon. That is, if this doesn't spook your eyeballs out first. <laughs> Welcome to the trail. We're happy to have you here. Now please read through and study this travel booklet to make sure you have a good trip. Tunnels. Tunnels are safe from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. Do not use tunnels close to closing time. And if you still find yourself walking through an empty tunnel at night, be sure to follow these rules to stay safe. Number one, avoid the tunnel if possible. If there's another way to get to where you need to go, take that route. Even if it's longer, don't use the tunnels after closing. Number two, tie a rope to one end. If you accidentally made it into the tunnel before closing or didn't get out in time, then feel around in the dark for a place to tie a rope. This acts as a grounding and can help you get your bearings for a direction. Number three, Flashlights and other electronics won't work in the tunnels, so people with pacemakers should avoid tunnels when possible. Lighters, candles, and torches are all good methods of brightening the tunnel. However, campfires are not allowed in the tunnels due to smoke. Number four, treat the tunnels with respect. The tunnels are much easier to escape if you are quiet, calm, and polite. Pick up your garbage in the tunnels. Leaving food for the animal inhabitants is normally prohibited. However, if you are stuck in the tunnels, leaving food is acceptable and recommended. And finally, number five, know which way you came in. Absolutely do not walk backwards. You will know you are walking backwards if the entrance starts to look like you are almost out, but you can see the northern lights and other celestial visions like the Milky Way or galaxy like stars. When you are walking in the correct direction, you will just see normal trees and stars. Off trail. Do not go off trail during hunting season unless you have a hunting permit and the proper equipment. Pick up all garbage when going off trail and leave everything as you found it. Number one, before going off trail, tell two people where you will approximately be to ensure that you can be found in case of an emergency. Number two, if you see a shimmering heat wave type of shape, do not take your eyes off of it. Calmly tell it that you can see it and spit in its direction. In most cases, it will leave and it will not bother you again. However, if it does not leave you alone, give it something of yours like toilet paper, a penny, or even food. It can be anything, but just make sure that what you're giving it is yours and not something you are borrowing or something you have stolen. Number three, deer are a very common sight off trail, so if you see one, give it some space. Our deer can be friendly at times, but please do not feed the deer. If one comes up to you, do not pet it. In a strong but polite tone, say, It is not right. It is not of nature. Number four. Should you feel a stinging in the back of your right eye, lie down in the forest and wait. No creature will come near you when this is happening, so you don't need to worry about anything else. Concentrate on the pain and wait it out. If the pain does not go away, we'll stay where you are, even if you're extremely dehydrated and hungry. 
absolutely do not move. Number five, if you see a bear with antlers, do not shoot him. This bear will not attack humans. He understands English and conversations are encouraged. If you are kind to him, he may give you a gift, but do not expect any gifts from him though, as he doesn't like greedy people. Number six, if you see a wolf with antlers, do not shoot her either. This animal does not understand English, but she will not bother you. Her cubs may be seen behind her, so give her a lot of space to walk around and do not touch her. Number seven, all other animals that were not mentioned are allowed to be hunted and are not allowed to be fed. And finally, fishing. One of our most common activities here is the fishing. Known for the pristine lakes and bountiful catches, if you're an angler, you're bound to love the lake. Just make sure to follow the rules and your time will be fantastic. Number one, please use only the fishing rods and bait that we provide free of charge. If you use the incorrect bait, the ecological balance could be disturbed. The bait we use is specifically procured to ensure the best catches. Number two, if a woman asks you to go swimming with her, do not respond. Don't acknowledge her whatsoever. She will ask you many times, but after about five minutes, she should go away. And once she goes away, it's recommended to pack up your stuff and leave the lake. You can come back the next day and continue fishing then. Number three. If the water turns black or starts to bubble, leave the lake immediately. This transformation of the water occurs when someone uses the incorrect bait and fishing rods. Number four, if you catch a fish and the fish is showing unusual behavior like not dying when bludgeoned, blinking, making phonetic sounds, speaking words, then immediately apologize to it and put it back in the water. Do not take it out of the lake area. Number five, if someone falls into the lake, please go to the information desk at the lake. Do not try to reach in and grab them. The lifeguard will follow the proper procedure to save them, and do not panic when the water turns black and starts to bubble. Number six, if you fall into the lake, do not try to swim towards the top. Sink as far down as you can to avoid the bubbles. And if you are bitten by a fish, do not take any gulps or breaths underwater. Remember these rules to have a fun time at our park. And if you need further assistance, then please go to the park entrance and see the information booth. We are happy to have you here. Swim Fantastic Arcade and Fun Park. The latest and greatest arcade games, go-karts, terror ball, and the only place this side of the astral plane where you can shoot actual lasers at your best frenemy. And nobody bats an eye. But let me guess, lasers are so last summer, am I right? No worries, you can enjoy lifelike virtual reality with their all new Master Control integration. It's like opening your eyes for the very first time. Visit your favorite places, places you never knew existed, the dark depths of the nether dimension, and much, much more. It's the trip of a lifetime. And admission is dirt cheap. Right now, Flynn is sporting a back to school special where admission is only the price of one soul. That's right, Tiny Tim. Due to your unwilling sacrifice, the entire family can enjoy two hours at Flynn's Fantastic Arcade and Fun Park. Limit one per soul, absolutely no refunds. So what are you waiting for? Flynn's Fantastic Arcade and Fun Park, the most tragic place on Earth. We take pride in our safety standards here at Anonymous Meat Processing Factory number four. As the former head manager, I want to make it very clear that all occupational health and safety practices were strictly adhered to. It's highly unlikely that anything could have gone wrong by accident. I mean, no one wants to be the guy who cooks his coworker alive. But it's hard to think clearly when there's a gun to the back of your head. It's hard to think clearly when you and your employees are being taken hostage by a group of deranged eco-terrorists. It's hard to think clearly when they've already taken six of your fingers and are promising to do much worse. Hurry, he whispers into my ear. You're already a murderer. The souls of those animals were more innocent than of these people. He's wrong. I can see her through the reinforced glass of our industrial oven. She's innocent. She's wide-eyed and pleading, hands bloodied against the panes. They've spiderwebbed slightly, but they won't break. No, 
No, they won't, because the machine is a new, improved model. Large enough to fit a human. Reaches up to 850 degrees Fahrenheit. My hands shake over the control panel, dripping blood. So please, you have to understand. It was either her or the rest of us. It was either her or me. You would have done the same thing. Oh, <laughs> you're still here. I was certain you had died or fled in absolute terror at the first syllable after my brilliant intro. My apologies. I wasn't really expecting anyone to actually make it this far. <laughs> Nevertheless, if you enjoyed what you've heard this evening, then make sure you leave a like on this video and strike that subscribe button. Go on, bury it. Give it all you've got. It is how we keep the lights on in this place and feed the feral werecats that have made their home in the former manager's chest cavity. And now, it is with a heavy heart that I regret to inform you that it is time for us to depart. But don't despair. I can already hear your incessant weeping. I'll be here every Tuesday and Thursday to bring you more bone-chilling and soul-shivering stories to whet that insatiable appetite of yours. Now go forth, my ghastly gang, and stay spooky.